Hey guys, welcome back. I've done some other videos on daily planning, time management, task management, things like that, but I haven't spent enough time talking about the goals. I, I've mentioned goals a few times, but I think today we should focus a little bit on how to create a good goal and why that's important. Now, a lot of us create goals that sometimes work. New Year's resolutions are a really good example. We get excited about something, we set a goal for ourselves. Unfortunately, what often happens is these are goals that we create on a whim or because we're excited without putting really any thought to it. And they're not necessarily necessarily obtainable over the time period that we think, let's say the next year, because a lot of reasons. Maybe you set yourself a goal that says, I'm gonna get my degree by the end of the year. Maybe that's realistic, maybe it's not. If you focus too much on setting goals on a regular basis that are not necessarily realistic because you haven't thought them through enough, you're gonna always be failing at your goals or at worst, or I should say at least, you won't be keeping up with the goals and that's just always gonna make you feel negative. We don't wanna do that. So let me give you some tips I think will be really helpful in creating goals that you can obtain and will just make you feel good on a regular basis. So let's start with your what. I know that's not usually what I say, but let's start with a what. What do you want to hit? I wanna get my degree this year. That's fantastic. Why? Follow it up with your why. Why do you wanna get your degree this calendar year? Is it that important to you that you get your, your, your degree this year? That's a great discussion to have. I'd encourage also, have this sort of discussion with another person, a spouse, a really good friend, a mentor, anybody, anybody who you trust to give you positive feedback. It's really helpful to actually be able to talk out loud and say, hey, so-and-so, so my what is this? I'm excited about this. Why I want it is this other reason. That's helpful because having a dialogue lets you say it out loud. When you say it out loud, you make it real. And when you make things real, you start to realize very quickly, um, am I doing this for the right reason? Is that really what I want or why I think I want to accomplish it? It's okay to have a fixed goal like that. It's okay. What are more important in, from my perspective is building processes to get you to that point. Let me give you another example. My goal this year was initially to lose a certain amount of weight. What I just changed it to was, I wanna lose my beer gut. I am pretty known for beer. This is something I've been doing for years and I've developed something I don't really want. So I created the goal. My why though was, I wanna feel better about myself. I wanna feel like I have more energy and stamina to chase my two and a half year old around because we all know that takes a lot of energy. So whether I actually hit that goal or not, my why is I wanna feel better. So this is one of the things I wanna focus on. In order to do that, I created a series of milestones. In my case, I have three of them. And each of those milestones lets me create a process for myself to try to get into a better quality physical lifestyle. Things like working out a certain amount of time per week. Rather than stating, I'm going to go to the gym or I'm gonna do this much cardio and this much resistance, I just simply said for myself on, in one of the milestones, I wanna work out for four hours every week. Doesn't matter how I do it and what increment I do it in, I just wanna work out four hours every single week. And I have a buildup over the course of the year. What a goal like that does, having a process, lets you create a habit and creates a routine. You can do this routine over time. So at the end of the day, even if I don't hit the clear and explicit goal, I feel good that I hit all my milestones and I can reflect back and say, well, maybe I didn't hit that goal for other reasons. I'm sure there were others that may have been in my control or out of my control, but what did I do? I actually accomplished creating habits for myself that have made me feel better and over the long term will get me to the place I really wanna be. I can't emphasize enough how critical it is to create process-oriented milestones or rather process-oriented goals that let you build habits because those are repeatable and you can tweak them very, very easily. But when you only focus on goals that are clear and specific and if you don't hit it, well, you didn't hit your goal, then you always end up focusing on the negative. That's never helpful for you. Also, one other thing that's really encouraging is to put in things like you know, an award. Give yourself a reward. It could be after completing each milestone, it could be just after completing the goal, however you wanna do it. But reward yourself, give yourself a little treat. It doesn't have to be something that's unhealthy for you or bad for you or whatever else, cause you to spend a ton of money, but it is something that's meaningful to you. And don't do it unless you actually hit the thing you set out to do. These can be really helpful, like getting a massage, buying a new computer, you know, buying a sports car, I don't know, whatever happens to be exciting for you, Setting these rewards for yourself also gives you something very positive to look forward to. You're gonna give yourself a reward for completing and creating processes and building habits that you can repeat over time that will long-term make you feel good. Hopefully this was helpful. Look forward to another video on this here soon. Have a great afternoon.